have here a 2.5 Super Grandia that actually went to to get remapped. So basically the cuento I got was this guy offers mode 1 to mode 10. I'm telling all of you right now, any tuner, quote quote, that offers you modes is totally you. There is no such thing as mode 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 1. I even don't care if it's mode 1 million. There is no such thing. All they're doing is, let's say in mode 1, they'll turn up fuel by 10%. Mode 2, 20%. Mode 3, 30%, 40%, so on and so forth. There is no reason in the world why it cannot be just maximized straight from the get-go. And the reason why these people do that is, number one, they're trying to squeeze more money out of you because every time so you'll test in mode one. Okay, I want more. You pay again. Mode two, you'll pay again. Mode three, you'll pay again. That's really, really stupid. You can just ask for the maximum right away, which none of them will all recommend because none of them have a dyno and none of them know actually how much horsepower they're making. Like I said, it's all total 1 million percent bullshit if you go to these cheap people who remap without a dyno. They can't tell you how much horsepower. They can't show you how much. They don't even know how much stock horsepower your car has. So again, it's basically you get what you pay for. Will it be more powerful than Malakas? Yes, it will. By how much? Obviously, you don't know. How much torque? You also don't know. Will it save fuel? Definitely, we don't know either. So this is the problem with people like this. And this is why people like me and Speed Lab exist because we have the dyno, we have the equipment to tell you exactly how much horsepower and torque you'll be making. So that's the story I got. We will talk to the owner now to see, get his side of the story and see what happens. Saan ka una nagpagawa? Ilan pinami sa'yo? Hindi ba mod 10 siya? Magkano ba kada mod? 10,000? Kada mod? So pag mod 10, 100,000? Ganon? Basta sisimula sa 10,000, patagdag na patagdag. Oh. 41, lahat. Walang dino. Lahat yung walang dino. Ah. So, 10,000, mod 1, walang dino. Oh, sabi ko na sa inyo, yung mod 1 to 10, kalokohan yun. <laughs> walang ganun yun. Kaya naman kasi, diretso dun sa malakas eh. Ha? Titipid. Oh, pag, taon, pag tama yung tono, titipid siya. Pero pag yung ganun ginagawa niyang copy-paste lang, nang, kasi ganun sa mga Toyota eh. Kaya rin, meron ako ng program para ito. May nagpagawa na sa akin. Yung susunod na kaparehong number ng ECU, lalagay ko lang yung program nito doon. Oo. Oh, so, basta, karga-karga lang tayo. Oo. Oh. Eh, yung problema doon, lahat ng kotse, iba-iba. Hindi -iba. naman eksaktong pareho yun eh. Maski parehong program, ang nagkakaiba doon, number one, yung makina, eh di naman pareho yung gamit ang makina mo kaysa doon sa isa eh. Oh. Kaya pag walang dyno, di, tas may kotse na dakilang, mahina talaga, tas may kotse na dakilang malakas. Oh. Pag wala ka dyno, hindi mo alam kung ano ba talaga yung starting point. Pag walang dyno, ganun yan, parang gagawa ka ng bahay, wala ka ruler eh. <laughs> oh, may pagbabas yan, dami may numero, hindi pwede wala. Kung walang numero, naglolokohan lang kayo lahat kayo. Baka yung mod 1 niya, ginawa lang yun, throttle lang eh. Wala nang, walang fuel, walang timing, lahat wala. The reason why we're more expensive than all of these other people, yung dyno, yung dyno niyan, 15 million yan. <laughs> Para punta ka ng hospital, di ba? Yung papa-x-ray ka, di man mura yung x-ray eh. Same logic. Pwede ka naman magpatingin si Albulario. Step 1, lalagay yung dyno, babasahan ko ano yung stock horsepower. So, naka mod 1 siya ngayon, di ba? Ano na rin namin kung ilan dapat talaga yung 2.5 na ano talaga yung horsepower niya. So makikita mamaya kung ano yung power mo, tapos ano dapat yung stock na stock. Kung may dagdag. Kung walang dagdag, eh, sorry. <laughs> this is how these people fool you with mode 1 to 100. The guys who actually are the cheap remappers only have a reader writer software, nothing else. They don't have this, they don't have an editor because number one, they don't know how to use it because they're stupid. <laughs> So this is the actual act of remapping and here's what we have. This is the actual file, stock file for the car. And what we have is, are the parameters which you can control. They're grouped into these folders and under each folder is a, one of the, you know, a map just like this. Now that's a map. So that's the map for the real pressure. This is the stock figure. So what we'll be doing is we will be 
making these numbers bigger. So it's like, I will now save this as mode one. And then after that, I'll add another few. Same thing. I ace mode two. I'll add a little bit more. Mode three. So on and so forth. So basically, this is what they're doing is no different when you buy a DP chip or a DTP or a DTE or any of these nonsense diesel chips. There's no different from just having a switch that you cannot access. So they have the access to say if it's position one, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth. And that's how they do it here. Mod one, mod two, mod three. So you come here. We'll load mod one first. So that's probably five, ten horses more. And that is kind of. Next time, pag kulang, balik ka. Uh, so, mod 2, oh, mod 2 naman, bayad ka ulit. O pag kulang mo, oh, mod 3, mod 3, bayad ka ulit. And that's just one parameter. There are a lot more parameters here which we can adjust to make more power, such as injection volume, injection rate, injection rate uh, driver request, this is torque, start of injection, torque mall, all, all of this, if we adjust it correctly, will get you the maximum power. So, again, there is no reason for mod 1 to 1 million because we can maximize it in one sitting right here right now so now we're gonna tune it the correct way in the proper way and then we'll see how much power we make versus this guy who does not know nothing Ibig sabihin yan, itong green, ito yung mod 1 mo. Yung kay... Mababa pa rin dito sa baba. Halos walang binago yung baba. Ang tono niya, nakita, nakita namin, puro nandito sa taas. Dito malakas siya. Pero nangyayari lang ito, lalampas ka ng 3,600 RPM. Umabot ka ba dyan? O oh, hindi. So, hindi mo rin nagagamit. <laughs> malakas siya ito, 3,000 pataas. Pero ito, 2-2 ang katriti, wala. Mababa eh. Nahina yung pick up. Ito, so, pag kami nagtutono, kaya kailangan importante yung dino para makita mo yung lakas, saan nangyayari. Pag nandito lahat sa dulo, walang sa isa yun. 99% ng tao, hindi nga umaabot ng 3,000 eh. Dito lang eh. So, dito, so, from 90 horse, we're now at 105 horse. From 100 horse, we went up to 120. From 110, we went up to 130. 125 to 135. So, itong lahat na to, Lalabas yan. That's another 20 to 25 horses more. As compared dun sa mod 1 million na yun. Sa torque, ganun din. Kaya mahina din yung pickup. Mababa din siya. Tapos sisipa, tapos babaksak. Itong pag ganyan, normal na sa lahat ng diesel yun. Tataas, tapos bababa. Lahat ng diesel, ganun. So, from here, we went from 270 newton meter to 340. Uh, 280 to 340. Tapos mas maaga yung peak torque niya. Dito pa lang sa 2 mataas na kagad. Pag meron na kagad yung power, Hindi, mo kailang, hindi ka nag-iisip, bumibitaw ng sarili yung paa mo. Doon nang gagaling yung tipid. Kasi yung nangyari sa'yo ngayon, nakabaon ka bago ka bumitaw. Tama? So, yun. Kaya malakas sa krudo. Kasi inaantay mo, umakit yung power para makuha mo yung lakas na gusto mo. Kasi compared dito, meron na kagad, maaga pa lang. So, yan yung dahilan bakit ka nagbabayad ng dino. Pag wala yan, mahirap magtono kasi magtatansya, saan mo ba gusto malakas? Gano'ng kalakas yung malakas? Eh, mahirap sa tao, hindi nila ma-describe ano gusto nila mangyari eh. <laughs> yung gumagawa naman nila sa, hindi rin niya alam ano gagalikutin kasi hindi siya nangangalikot. <laughs> Sige, pagtanggal, testingin mo. Kasi ikaw magsabi kung may pagbabago o wala.
panel. Ano? <laughs> Yan yung tunay na remap. <laughs> yung alam yung ginagawa, hindi copy paste. <laughs> so, di ba? Konting tapak lang may sibat na. O, tapos bumibitaw ka. O, yun na yun. <laughs> Yan, may tipid yan. Normally, mga 8%, 9%. O, yun lang yun. Walang ganun na. Pag may nagsabi sa'yo na 30% titipid, automatic. Kag, niloloko ka nun. Walang pwede mangyari sa buong universe na to na 30% tumipid yung konsumo. Walang ganun. So, there you have it. That's why you go to me and not to these people who remap without a dino and just basically copy-paste files. Now he's a believer. <laughs> it's better to spend it one time, do it right, do it correctly, then yun, pabalik-balik ka ng punta na you don't even have a baseline figure on how much improvement, how much power did you get. Uh, trying to tune it out a dino is actually very stupid. It's like trying to build a house without a ruler. Or it's like a doctor trying to diagnose you without bringing to an at least an x-ray machine, not to mention the MRI machine or even an ECG machine. All of these machines are there to provide the necessary information for us to be able to know what to do and how to do it and where to do it and at what point to do it. It's not just basically pretty numbers and pretty graphs on a chart, no. It's the information that we get out of that. And again, these machines are not cheap. Uh, like I mentioned a while ago, our Dynapack is 15 million. You want to ask your doctor friends how much is an MRI machine? I'm sure it's definitely more than 15 million. So again, these things are expensive for a reason because they are diagnostic equipment. They give you useful information. Because we've had people say that the Dyno is basically just that. It's a treadmill for the car. You, what you get is horsepower and torque. And, that's it? Yun lang ginagawa niyan? Yes. Yun lang talaga ginagawa niyan. That's its one and only job to give you what power and what torque. And yet, it's that expensive. The same way that an ECG does only one thing. It counts your heartbeat. And why is that machine so expensive? Same logic. So again, tuners without dinos are like doctors without equipment. And mind you, they are not even licensed doctors. They're like quack doctor. So don't go to them. You'll be... Stupid one if you do.